The battle for the Balobedu throne has taken another turn as some members of the royal family plan to crown Princess Masala Nabo as Queen Mujaji uh, April next year. This despite this past weekend's installation of her brother, Prince Lekekula, Lekekulela, rather, uh, Mujaji as a king elect by the Mujaji Royal Council under the leadership of the regent uh, Bakoma uh, Mbapata Mujaji. Last year, the council announced its decision to install a male heir to the throne that had been occupied by queens for the past two centuries. SABC News senior reporter Pimani Baloi and senior video journalist Urisane Lebebe um, visited the Maulwe sacred site and filed this report. In fact, let's speak to Pimani now for a bit of context first. Pimani, a very good morning to you. I think if we really go back and we talk about the history of the Mujaji queenship, we know that this is um, a nation that has been led by women for 200 years. How is it? that we are now seeing the installation of a man, and how is that being explained? Uh, good morning, uh, Naledi, and good morning to our viewers. Indeed, Naledi, it seems this battle is set to continue for the next few months or even years as it happens. So, Naledi, the Mujaji queenship right now, as we call it, the queenship, is something that is known as a rain-making queen, where the last queen, uh, Queen Makubo, was known as the rain queen Makubo Mujaji. Uh, she passed away in 2005, and when she passed away, her brother, her brother, older brother, Bakoma Mpapata, took over the reins as regent. And at that time, the understanding that her daughter, who was a few months old when the late queen died, Princess Masala Nabo, would take over the reins when she turned 18. So that's what has been happening. And what happened is the Mujajis, uh, their queenship status had been reduced to a senior traditional leadership by the apartheid government. And when uh, the, the democratic government took over, the fight to have that status re, uh, restored took on, and then eventually it was recognized as a queenship. President, uh, 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 President Jacob Zuma was party to that uh, process of recognizing it. Even President, uh, the current President, Cyril Ramaphosa, was present during a ceremony to restore that status. So what has been happening is that there are two factions, both members of the family, both members of the royal family, some saying who are led by the, the, the Mujaji Royal Council and the current regent, uh, Mr. Mbapata, uh, Prince Mbapata uh, 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 Mujaji, saying that when the restoration process was done, when that application was done, they had a queen on the throne. So when government recognized this a monarchy as a queenship, they had to recognize it under female leaders, mm. which is why at the time, Princess Masala Nabo, according to them, was the symbol that symbolized the next heir to the throne. But according to them, the Mujaji Royal Council, they never specifically said, you know, she is the next to occupy the throne. And according to them, her brother, who is also her bro brother, her brother from the same mother, is also eligible to occupy that throne. And historically, that uh, uh, queenship had been a kingship prior to it being a queenship. So if the royal family and the royal council decides that they should now move over from a, a female to a male, they can do so. And they've stated their reasons for taking that decision. Princess Masala Nabo has been out of their hands her entire life, and they have not been able to teach her the ways and traditions of the Balobedu people. So they're not confident that she will be able to carry forward the nation as they please. No. But on the other side, Naledi, like I said, it, I stated earlier, it's a family battle. There are other people who are calling themselves also members of this royal family, and we've had confirmation from the royal council that they are indeed uh, members members of that royal family. They've uh, formed themselves under a council which calls themselves the Balubedu Royal Council. Uh, they are the Mokotos, the Mahashas, and several other clans in that family. And they're saying, according to them, Princess Masala Nabo is still the rightful heir to that throne. According to them, government has recognized Princess Masala Nabo. They don't understand this talk about Prince Lukukela taking over. But further, which we found very interesting as we did the story, Naledi, 
if there's going to be a king on that throne, the Mujaji family is not eligible to be that king, which means the other family members, they specifically cited the Mukotos who are part of that royal family, should be the ones who are kings if the, if the, that family, if the queenship changes from being a queenship to being a kingdom. Mm. So to them, if there's ever a change, uh, Lukukele is not eligible. It must move away from Mujaji and then move to the Mukotos where we will see somebody from the Mukotos which they will appoint take over as the king. But also they say it's going to be difficult to convince government that a male person must occupy that throne. So according to them, there's no basis. The ceremony that happened over this past weekend is invalid and it was just something that was not attended by relevant people, Naledi. Yeah, it's interesting because you're mentioning a few surnames, they're the likes of Mukot, and we're seeing um, some of the visuals that we're writing that uh, that uh, that lineage does go all the way back to the surname Mukot, so it's going to be interesting to see what, what, what comes out of that. But we did see uh, Prince Leguke Lamujaji uh, installed this weekend. Yes, 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 Naledi. We were actually around the vicinity of that installation, but unfortunately they said it's uh, something that cannot be uh, attended by ordinary people, and selected few family members were in the pre present during that installation ceremony. But we were around okay. the vicinity and we spoke to people. Right. Well, some of the things that we found interesting as we did that, as we covered that, Naledi, is that some of the people who were present during that uh, installation ceremony, people who told us that they danced throughout the night as part of the ceremony, stated that according, according to them, that installation was for a temporary ba basis. And as far as they knew, the reins would be handed over to Princess Masalanabo when she comes of age, Naledi. As you see, um, the, the, the support for Masalanabo really starting to grow um, within the Balobedu nation, it seems that the battle is going to be a little bit longer. What happens next, Pimani? Yes, Naledi, as you were explaining, there are actually two cases that were, went to the High Court in Pretoria. The first one was heard last week, Friday, and unfortunately the side of Princess Masalanabo was unsuccessful, where they wanted to hold that installation ceremony that happened on Friday night and Saturday, and Saturday morning. But the second pending matter is that when the first, the initial decision to enthrone Prince Likukela instead of Princess Masalanabo was announced, the first appearance, as you were mentioning, of Princess Masalanabo, who was saying the princess is a minor, she cannot take matters to court herself, but as her foster parents, they approached the High Court in Pretoria and they wanted the High Court to set aside that decision to put Prince Likukela on the throne because according to them, Princess Masalanabo is the rightful person to be occupying that throne. So on Monday, next week, Monday, the 10th of October, we expect the High Court in Pretoria to be listening to this matter. We expect lawyers representing both the Mujaji Royal Council, led by the Regent Bakoma Mbapata Mujaji, and the, the other side of the family, representatives of uh, Princess Masaranabo's first parents, to be ventilating this matter in court, where we don't know how court will rule, and we don't know how this will affect that decision that Prince Likukela should take over the throne. But Naledi, I, for us, as we were doing the story, as you were saying, that we've seen some divided views from community members in the area, but also from some members of the, of the family. For us, as we were doing the story, I, we think the bug lies now stops with government, because government is the one that issues certificates for people who are supposed to occupy thrones. So at this day, at this point, uh, the Mujaji Royal Council says they are in touch with government to speak to them about issuing a certificate to Prince Lukugela. But on the other side, the foster parents say uh, the president and other government officials have already given, uh, you know, notice that as far as they are concerned. Princess Masalana was certificate is just waiting for her to come of age and it should be issued. 
And the interesting thing, Naledi, is that the, 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 the foster parents, with the support of the uh, Balobedu Royal Council, say they've already set the date for the coronation. They say the president has been invited and they are sure that you'll be in attendance, that on the 11th of April next year, Princess Masala Nabo will be coronated Queen Mujaji the seventh. So at this point, Naledi, it's very interesting. We'll monitor the court processes on Monday, but we'll also reach out to the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs to see have they received any communication from either side? Where are they standing? Naledi? Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about the importance of this nation. And this is, this is a nation that for the, very, uh, for the longest time um, has been led by a woman, and we've touched on that. But the, a, a lot of that decision to have a female leader, uh, Pimani, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong here, has been the belief that a female reign queen has the power to uh, be the reign maker. And that really is at the center of this um, of this battle for leadership, right? There's the argument about whether or not a man has those special, um, you know, skills and, or, or powers, if you will, or if a nation can believe that a man can be in that position. Yes, Naledi, those are some of the questions that we've been asking around, specifically to the locals. Do they believe that they will continue being the rainmaking nation? Do they believe their power will wear off when they have a male person on the air? But people have been saying, specifically members of the Mujaji Royal Council, that for the past 17 years they've had a male regent. And despite that, they are powers to make rain have not wavered in any way but also family members are saying the rain making rituals that they perform whatever they, the powers that they have it's not vested on one individual it's a collective of different members of that family who have the powers to work together and perform this rain making ritual so at this point both sides of this are saying they might not be much impact on their rainmaking capabilities by having a male person on the air, Naledi. Yeah, on the throne. Really, yeah, it, it certainly is going to be interesting. Pimani, thank you so much for bringing us a very detailed explanation of the battle for power uh, within the nation of Balobedu.